You probably know that you can load your own videos into Create Studio Pro by clicking on the media icon and then click Import. You may also know that you can import video clips from Pexels or Pixabay. But did you know that you can also import Lottie files? Keep watching and I'll show you how. This is Randy with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. The first question you may ask is what is a Lottie? If you happen to Google that, you will most likely find this website that has a video explaining what Lottie files are. It does a great job explaining Lottie files and their advantages. The main two advantages is that the motion graphics is described in a very small file. The file extension is JSON, which is pronounced as JSON. And the really cool thing is that Create Studio Pro allows us to import these JSON files just like a video. On the right, you see that Lottie files do not lose resolution, no matter how they are scaled. I will demonstrate that later in the tutorial. The second question you may ask is where can I find free Lottie motion graphics to use? I believe the best place is LottieFiles.com. Before downloading Lottie files, you will need to register, but it is painless and it is free. No credit card information needed. Once you are registered, there are thousands of graphics to choose from. I almost always have to start with a search. I want to find a wall clock for my video, so I will search on clock. There are a lot of clock motion graphics, but the first thing you will want to do is select only the free ones using the price pull-down. By the way, I find many free ones are superior to premium graphics. It depends on if the creator wants to be compensated or not so it is not necessarily priced by quality. This page is a good illustration why I refer to Lotties as motion graphics. Nearly all of them include some motion. Now if I scroll to the bottom, I see there are over 50 pages of free clocks available. Wow, that is massive. Okay, I like this one that has the clock face with the numbers on it, so I will download it by clicking on the image. Here you can see what the running Lottie looks like, and if you want to proceed, click on the download button. The optimized Lottie JSON is available to those using a paid plan. Since our goal here is free, select Lottie JSON at the top. This will be downloaded to your download folder. I will also download this running hero just because it is so darn cute. Now that our Lottie files have been downloaded, it is time to bring them into Create Studio Pro. Select my files in the media icon and then click on import. Let me warn you here, loading a Lottie file takes a very long time. What you see has been massively sped up. Once the file is loaded, then you can drag it onto the canvas just like any other media. That comes in very large, so use the scale in the settings panel to make it smaller. This would be a good time to explore the claim of infinite scalability, so let's make the clock image very large. Here I see some pixelization in Create Studio Pro that I don't see in other video software. That is a little disappointing, but hey, how many times are we going to zoom to those extremes? All right, I have loaded the clock Lottie file and the running hero Lottie. Let's investigate what Create Studio Pro features can be applied to the imported Lottie files. Drag the running hero onto the canvas and scale it down. Let's see how it looks. Nice! The running action is faster in the middle and slower at the beginning and the end. The first thing I was curious about is if I could create a loop of the motion graphics, so I duplicated the track. Okay, duplicate works. 
Now, move the duplicate to the end of the original and play that. Very cool. This Lottie file is set up so that it can be looped. Let's investigate if we can add animation. Since Hero is running, let's try the position animation. I will move him to the bottom right corner and add a position animation with linear easing. Click on the second diamond and move the Hero one third of the way to the left edge. I will guess that he speeds up around two seconds into his run, so I will move the second diamond to the two second mark and move the first diamond to the start of the track. Click the second diamond and add another position animation for his fast running part. Click on the rightmost diamond and move the hero off the left edge of the canvas. Tip. If you hold down the shift key, you can drag the hero in either the X or Y axis. So I will hold the shift key and with my mouse drag the hero to the left. Let's play that and see if any adjustments are needed. I see two things to adjust. One, the fast running part moved off the canvas way too fast. So I will extend the duration by clicking on the last diamond and move it to the right. The second item is that his legs started moving faster during the first animation. So I will want to shorten the first animation duration. When I click on the diamond in the middle, I see I can't drag it to the left. That is because the start of the second animation is on top the end of the first animation. Tip. To adjust the first animation, click in the middle of the second animation and move it to the right so that you can see both diamonds. Now move the end diamond of the first animation a few frames to the left and then drag the second animation left so that both diamonds are on top of each other again. Let's play that. Now that looks better. Will the Create Studio effects work on Lottie files? After adding the clock Lottie, let's see if I can use the clip speed effect to speed up the clock where the hero is running fast. I will move my playhead to the middle diamond and cut the clock Lottie track. Now, open the effects by clicking on the star on the far left, select and drag clip speed onto the Lottie track after the cut. In the top right, you can click on the word clip speed to open the clip speed panel. As I make it four times faster, you can notice the Lottie track getting smaller. So yes, you can clip speed a Lottie file. It appears that all the effects can be applied to Lottie files. Here is Wavy. Here is Twirl. Here is Color Replace. And finally, I'll show you Glitch. All the effects can be applied to Lottie files. So now you know how to find free Lottie files and apply them to your Create Studio projects. Here is a project that I built using the Clock Lottie file to show a day at the office using a time-lapse effect. I will release a tutorial soon on how I made this time-lapse video in Create Studio Pro. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.